Hi, everybody. It's Ellen again. I'm going to try to um, share with you how I add video um, into a slideshow or onto a website or anywhere. Um, it's great to take a video, but then you have to move it and put it where you want it to be. So this little um, presentation is about adding video. So here are some of the tasks ahead, and I'm going to walk you through the way I do it. I am sure it is not the fastest, easiest way. So you may have a hundred different ways that you do it, or you may just want to go out and Google it and see what other little short videos are out there. But again, I'm just going to take you through my process. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take some short videos of your studio, yourself, your home, um, whatever you think will be interesting interesting to the folks that um, look at your um, your tour slide. Each of the videos shouldn't be longer than 60 seconds. You want 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 second videos, short ones. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you can add your videos to an online editor on your phone or on the computer. So um, whichever way it works best for you. I do mine on my computer, so that's what I'm going to show you. The third step is to actually take a look at your videos and mess around with them in the editor. So you're gonna you're gonna put a couple of videos together. You're gonna add um, front uh, title cards and back cards, and basically you're gonna put those videos together the way you want them to be. They're gonna be yours. From there, the most important part is you need to create a URL. So once you put them in the video editor, they're there. They're on your computer, but they're not ready to go up online yet. So technically what you need to do is upload them somewhere that will give them an internet address. Oftentimes what people do is they upload their finished video to a, their YouTube channel. Um, and just so you know, YouTube is owned by Google. So if you have a Gmail account, you do have a YouTube channel. Um, you could also save the video to your Google Drive um, and that will create a URL for it as well. Once you have the URL, you need to highlight and copy the URL using that control C shortcut and then click into your tour icon on the uh, slide for the uh, virtual tour and click on the link icon and then you paste the URL to your tour icon using control V. Control C and control V are your best friends right now. Truly, you can do this. I know it seems impossible, but you can. Let me walk you through. All right, so I'm on my desktop now, and what I need to do is make sure I have video. So I'm gonna go to my folder. I save things on Dropbox, that's not important at all. Um, what you really wanna do is make sure you have some available videos. So I do, I, Jim and I went out and took lots and lots of little videos. There's me spinning on the deck um, with the dog. Um, and I only like one of those, so I picked one. Um, there's also a video of the work that I've done over the winter. Um, so I wanted that in my video. I also wanted people to know where I lived. So I picked a little short video that just shows our view of Lake Champlain. And then the last one I threw in was just for fun, which is um, this little goat video. If you've ever <laughs> tried to feed goats grain, you'll find out that they really do not walk in a straight line. They are always curling in front of you, just going back and forth, back and forth, and it's really hard to, to walk with them. So I thought that might be fun since we raise goats to create the yarn that I work with. So, okay, so all those videos are there. And the next thing I need to do though, is I need to put them in my video editor. So I'm going to go over here. I don't know if you saw what I just did. So I went over here and this is on my computer. Sometimes you have to right click and go to search. My computer has a search uh, bar right here. So I'm just gonna write in video editor and you're gonna see, I didn't even have to complete it, it popped right up. So there it is, voila, okay. And then the other thing I did over here, hopefully I can get back to where I wanna be. I had brought in, you don't need that. I had brought in um, some folders and uploaded them right in. So I added, um, see right here, it says folders. I added that video folder we were just looking at into the video editor. So now I can work with it, okay? So I'm gonna start a new video and I'm not gonna go all the way through this, but I'll, I'll show you how it starts up in this video editor. I'm gonna call it Ellen 
fiber artist. And this is just, I'm just doing it for play because I've already really made the real video. And then you see right here, it says my library is empty. I have to fill this up with videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do them from my collection that I put here on the, um, we'll take that one. Oh, no, that's the finished video. You don't want that one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, how about, well, let's go back. I don't want that one. Um, We'll take that one and that one and that one. And then where's that go one right there? Okay, so those are the ones I want. I've checked them and now I'm going to press add. And I happen to know um, the order that I want them in. So I want spinning video first. So interesting. It took all four. Oh, because I have them all checked. Okay, so let's uncheck them. Okay, I'm going to take spinning video. Hello, come on. Spinning video goes first. And then the next one I want is the view. So I'm going to grab that. And basically, I'm just hopefully grabbing. Here we go. OK. I'm just holding down my left mouse button. On a Mac, I'm not sure what you do, but that's what I do on this one. So I'm going to click it, and I'm going to grab it. There we go. There's my work, my finished work that I've done over the winter. And then this is the funny goat video. Okay, so now I have all four of them. And if you see, they've added up. So if I were to go back to the beginning of this, well, let's, let's stop that. And we're gonna take that little piece, put it back to the beginning. And you'd see, yeah, okay. So you can see that's happening. Now I wanna add a title card and I'm going to work with that title card a little bit right up here. I think I am. Okay. Edit. Okay. I'm going to edit the background. I'm going to make it yellow because we're yellow dog farm. That's done. And then I'm going to edit um, the text. So I'll just say, and I'm writing over here. Um, fiber artist. Okay. And I can pick what kind of, ooh, wow, that's kind of weird. Um, what kind of font I want. Hey, that's okay. I like that. I didn't even know that was there. So we're going to do that. We're going to say done. And then I might want to add another title card, but this one's going to be for the end. So I'm going to just say, right click, edit text. And now I say, thank you. OK, great. All right, so there's my video. It's all set. So now what I want to do is finish the video. And I'm going to do that. I could do it on a different. I'm probably going to do medium just because I want to um, make sure it'll upload easily. So now what's happening is it is going into, not that folder. I want it to go into that darn video folder. Okay, it just shows you how crazy my video should be in there. I have a lot of folders. There you go. I'm just going to drop it in there. And so I'm exporting it. Now, now it's saved on my computer, but it doesn't have a URL at this point. Now, I think this one will give me a URL. And if that's the case, this makes this whole process really, really easy. But it's exporting. It's going to take a while. OK, so I'm going to just drop this screen down. Um, and I'm going to go back out here. And what I need to do at this point is I'm going to find my slide. Things are slowing down just a little bit because it's doing a lot of work in the background. Here's my slide. 
And then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to click right here, right click on, no, just click on it. You can see I already have a URL in there. That's okay. But yours would be empty. You wouldn't have anything. And you're going to click on this link button. And when you do that link button, it opens it up. You throw your link in there with control V and then you press apply. And now you have your video in there. Let's go back out and see what's happening here. Still exporting. Come on. And there's my finished video. So you can see it starts with Ellen Fiber Artist. It goes on, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and it's still, it's all great. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to stop that because I really don't want to listen to myself. And I'm going to show you one more thing. So to get that link that you need, I'm going to go out to my Gmail account. And I'm going to open up my YouTube channel. Well, maybe I will. I'm just going to scroll down until I find the YouTube icon right there. Click on it. And there's my little icon because I I put my icon in there and made a little thing for it. Um, I'm going to go to YouTube Studio. I see this little upload button. I'm going to, there's Jim's video right there. I'm going to upload my Ellen video. I'm going to select the file. And I am going to go to this folder because I don't think I put it in that one. And I am going to, hang on. Where are you? There it is right there, Ellen Fiber Artist. So that's my new video. I'm going to open it. And now you see it's moving. Things are working. So there it goes. It's uploading my video. Again, this takes a little while, but do you see what it gave me? It gave me a video link. So now what I would do, even while it's uploading, I can take this. Remember, Control-C. And then I can go out to my slide. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to put it in here. I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it on this. Nope, I'm going to put it on this picture just because I already have a video there. I highlight the picture. That's what this is. It's just a picture. And then I click on the link. And now I'm going to use that, hello, come back link. I'm going to use that control V. And that's my new video that I've just put out there. So if I didn't get to hit. Um, make sure you hit apply, control V and apply. Okay. So now that video that I just made with you is sitting right there and it's going out. Oh, it's still processing, but that's okay. Um, it would work as soon as it's processed over here is the one I did yesterday. And I kind of like those title cards better, the ones that I did uh, on this one. So I might go back and change it. Anyway, that's it. That's what you have. That's what we're aiming for is to get your video, I'll close that out, over to this icon. So when you look at gems, you're going to see video. Oops, you're going to see video right there. Okay. When you go to, that's Grand All Artworks. When you go to gyms, you should see video right there. So it's really important that the video goes in all the same places so that people, oh, look, we have a new one. Alyssa Campbell did hers. She hasn't put her video in yet, but it's beautiful. Okay, so we've got lots and lots of things going on here. So that's great. So that's all it is. You've got to use control C to copy the URL and control V to put it. You highlight the picture go to this little link button, and then control V, paste your URL onto that button. Nice, looking good. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, I think.
I remember how to.